I want to take this time to address a common logical fallacy that I see being made on YouTube, especially uh, made in the comments box of my videos. And this particular logical fallacy is known as a argumentum ad hominem or an ad hominem attack. So basically this is where you're attacking the person instead of their actual arguments. Um, now I have this introductory logic textbook. Um, I love this thing. Um, it was printed quite a bit, quite a few years ago, but uh, I've definitely enjoyed it. You know, logic doesn't change over the years. That's something that uh, something that exists, and you're not going to expect uh, logic in the 1970s, 1980s to be any different from good logic in the 2010s. Um, so I wanted to read what this author had to say about the appeal to man argumentum ad hominem. And in the first paragraph he says, the fallacy of the appeal to the man discredits one claim and advances another by verbal attacks on the character, reputation, or social, or social situations of the person proposing the original claims. An ad hominem argument shifts the point at issue from evidence related to the claim of the argument to the person making it. The effort is the effort is made to have one claim rejected by impugning the character or situation of the person making the claim. And so basically an argumentum ad hominem is you're attacking the person rather than their argument. Um, for example, I see videos where somebody might propose uh, that Jesus was a real person. Um, and they might be a historian and they might point out that there is more historical evidence for the, for the existence of Jesus of Nazareth than for other, any other historical character in antiquity. Um, and they'll give evidence for this claim. And rather than actually attacking the evidence, um, people will, ins or talking about history, they'll instead attack the person for being a Christian. Um, so that would be an example of an ad hominem attack. Um, very often on my YouTube channels, I have one person who attacks a scientist by the name of Jonathan Wells, who's one of the lead proponents of the intelligent design movement. Um, very often this person will attack Jonathan Wells for his religious beliefs, or his allegedly what his religious beliefs are, rather than, rather than attacking his actual arguments. Um, as many of you know, I did a previous video where I decided to research Heckel's embryos and find out whether or not they were actually in the textbook as Jonathan Wells says or whether they uh, have never been used in the modern day textbooks as the National Center for Science Education claims. Um, obviously both, uh, both claims cannot be true. So rather than attacking people from the National Center for Science Education who are generally atheists or attacking Jonathan Wells who has uh, not only his PhD in biology, specifically cell biology and embryology, um, but is also a theologian. Rather than just saying, well, I like one over the other, uh, what I did was I looked at the facts. I went and opened up the textbooks for myself, and lo and behold, Heckel's embryos are very clearly there. Um, so this is, this is basically the problem with an ad hominem attack. Somebody might attack a particular scientist, for example, uh, for being a Christian which I see very, very commonly, um, rather than attacking their actual arguments that they see design in nature. Um, however, as one scientist pointed out, they've said, hey, you know, if you have a scientist who's an atheist, and they investigate the evidence for design in nature, and they end up concluding design, and then later become a Christian, that does not therefore discredit their, um, that does not therefore discredit the logic of their argument. Um, I see this happening all the time. However, uh, uh, that's the problem with uh, that's one of the problems with the ad hominem attack is you're attacking the person and not their argument. And honestly, whether the person's a Christian or whether they're an atheist or whether they're a Buddhist or whether they're a Democrat or Republican or whether they're um, you know or whether you know you, for that matter whether whether or not they're a Nazi, it doesn't matter. Uh, because 
whatever their particular social views are, whether their particular religious views are, whatever their particular scientific views are, um, they're irrelevant to the logic of the argument they're putting forth. Um, so that's basically what an argument ad hominem, see how we pronounce Latin again, argumentum ad hominem, um, that's what an argumentum ad hominem or an ad hominem attack is, attacking the person rather than their arguments. Um, so that's just something I wanted to take the time to address, uh, you know, see if you can come up with some examples of argumentum ad hominem that you have seen in politics, in religion, in uh, society in general. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, be, feel free to check out my website, which is greenslug.com. Remember, slug is spelled with two G's. This is Greg. Out.